To create this basic fog glue effect, two main layers are needed. First, a layer of the original artwork. Then, another layer of the original artwork, but this time, with a blur filter applied. After that, change the blur layer blend mode to screen. This method can be used in different applications. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop, After Effects, and Blender 3D. Let's start with Photoshop. Shift select all the artwork layers. Then duplicate the layers by dragging them into the new layer icon. Press Ctrl E to merge all the layers. With the merge layer selected, go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Adjust the blur radius based on the resolution of your artwork. After that, change the layer blending mode to Screen or Linear Touch. In my case, I will continue to use the Screen Layer Blend Mode. Screen Blend Mode will make our artwork brighter. So turn down the opacity to adjust the glow brightness. We can also add a layer mask for this glow layer. Then adjust the mask with a soft edge brush. So the glow effect will only be visible in certain parts of the artwork. Adding fog glow in After Effects is a straightforward process. First, go to Layer and add a new adjustment layer. Add a blur filter to the adjustment layer through Effect, Blur and Japan, Gaussian Blur. Increase the blurriness value in the Effects Controls panel. Then click on Toggle Switches to bring up the Layer Blend Mode option. Change Adjustment Layer Blend Mode to Screen. After that, we can add a mask to the layer to control where we want the glow to be shown. Adjust Mask Feather to soften the edge. Let's look at how to create fog glow in Blender 3D. First, go to the Compositor Layout and enable the Use Nodes option. To see the changes we made in the Compositor, go to Output and add the Viewer node. Connect the Render Layers node to the Viewer node. Then, enable the Backdrop option. In Blender 3D, we can add the fog glow effect by using the Glare Knot filter. The Glare filter comes with different types of glare patterns, which give interesting results. But for this tutorial, let's recreate the fog glow effect by using the Blur filter. Add the Blur Knot through Add, Filter, Blur. Increase both X and Y values in the node. The size option is a multiplier for the X and Y value. So, if you put 2, you will double the blur, and if you put 0, you will remove the blur. Next, we will composite the blur layer on top of the original render. Go to Color and add the Mix node. Connect Blur node to Mix node's second image input. Then, connect Render Layers node to Mix node first image input. Finally, connect the Mix node with Viewer node. Now, change the Blend mode to Screen. Don't forget to connect the Mix node with Composite node as well, so we can save the composited result. Besides Screen or Linear Dodge Blend mode, we can also use other blend modes, such as lighter color, to achieve a different look. As you can see in this example, the lighter color blend mode helps to tie everything together. As the colors from the background are blended into the character line art, and not making the whole artwork brighter like the screen or linear dodge blend mode. Here are some other examples of using the lighter color blend mode. Besides using the usual Gaussian Blur, we can also experiment with different types of blur. In this example, I'm using a radio zoom blur, which gives the light ray effect. Here's another example of using radio zoom blur, 